Hello students, today let me introduce you to app development. Nowadays everyone uses smartphones for their day-to-day -day activities. Therefore, mobile apps have become the primary medium of digital interaction. In this chapter, you will learn about such apps in detail. You will even be able to develop your own app at the end of this chapter. First, let's start. What is apps? An application is a software designed to do a specific job. The word app is an abbreviation for application. An app enables you to do something specific. Like you can paint, draw, read maps and barcodes, take photographs, play games, watch and edit videos and host other activities but within the technical limitations of your device. And apps work in pretty much the same way as the software does on a desktop or laptop. But computing power and memory of a smartphone is generally less than a standalone computer. So the capabilities of the app are limited than a similar software running on a PC. Most desktops do not have touch screens capabilities, while all mobile devices have touch screens. This changes the way the user interacts with the device. Instead of a keyboard and a mouse, the user simply taps on the display which works both as an input device as well as an output device. Apps are designed to work on different operating systems used by the various devices. An Android app is developed to work on phones, tablets or the other gadgets that run on Android OS, whereas iPhone apps can be used on iPhones that use iOS. For better running of the apps, the internet connection speed must be fast so that the app can be downloaded easily from the Google Play Store on Android phone or through App Store on iOS. Ok students, let's talk about the types of apps. Apps can be broadly classified as desktop apps, web apps or mobile apps. Desktop apps. These apps can be used on a desktop or a laptop. Generally, they do not need web access and run independently on a computer. To run a desktop app, it must be first installed on the desktop or a laptop. The installed app is represented either by an icon on the computer screen or item on the start menu. Examples of desktop applications are word processors, spreadsheet, paint and notepad. Web apps These apps require an internet connection. They are usually browser-based and stored on a remote server. Users can access them like any other web page. Web applications require minimum device memory as the application lies on the remote server. These applications can be utilized from any device through the internet. For example, Google Maps, Instant, Messenger, etc. Mobile apps. These apps run on smartphone or a tablet. Mobile apps have responsive web designs to adapt to the much smaller screen sizes and orientation of the mobile devices. These apps are usually smaller in size as mobile devices have limited memory. Some mobile apps may come preloaded on cell phones or tablets. Keeping in the view the device independence feature, software companies nowadays make diverse versions of the applications to be used as desktop apps, web apps or mobile apps. Students look at the examples given below. Software Desktop app Photo editing Adobe Photoshop is a photo editing software which must be installed on a desktop or laptop. Pixelr is a free photo editing tool for desktop. Web app Pixelr also provides photo editing software as a web application available at https colon slash slash pixelr dot com slash web. Sumo Paint is another web based photo editing application at https colon slash slash www dot sumo paint dot com slash paint Slash. Mobile app Adobe Photoshop Express and Mobile Pixelr are photo editing apps for mobile devices which can be downloaded from either the Google Play Store or App Store. Facebook Desktop app 
Facebook Messenger has its own desktop app which can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store and Mac App Store. People can use it on your computer to send messages and make video calls. Web App Facebook is a popular web application used for social networking. Mobile App Facebook is available as a separate app which can be downloaded from the Google Play Store and App Store. Office Suits Desktop App MS Office is a very good example of desktop-based office applications. This include word processing, spreadsheet, presentation and other applications. Web App Microsoft 365 is a web-based version of Microsoft's Office Suite. Google Docs is the part of G Suite, which allow users to view and edit documents in real time through a web browser. Mobile App Microsoft Office Mobile Mobile app combines Word, Excel and PowerPoint with exclusive features. This app is useful to get documentation, spreadsheet or presentation-related work done on a mobile phone. G Suite applications can also be used on a mobile phone. Games Desktop app Games like Solitaire and Minesweeper are available on all Windows-based computers. Other games too can be downloaded for use on desktops and laptops. Web app There are many Flash games available online that you can play for free or by paying a small fee. Power Cricket Challenge, Online Snooker and Fortnite are examples of web-based games. Mobile App Like web-based games, there are many games that are available on Play Store or App Store that you can download and play for free or by paying a small fee. Media Players Desktop App Media player apps enable users to play music or videos on their computers. VLC player and Windows media player are some of the examples of freely available media players. Web app Many sites offer their services and allow you to play music, videos, listen to the radio and even watch TV while online. Mobile app VLC Media Player and MX Player are examples of apps that can be easily run on mobile phones and downloaded from the Play Store or App Store. Maps Desktop App Google Maps can be downloaded on the desktop computer. However, this app will only function when Internet access is available. Web App the browser-based Google Maps can be accessed by typing maps.google.com in the address bar of the browser. Mobile App The Google Maps app is available in the Google Play Store. Students, let's know more about Candy Crush. In this game, the players complete levels by swapping colored pieces of candy on a game board. Students, let's understand the classification of mobile apps. Mobile apps can be further classified as native apps or hybrid apps. Native apps Mobile apps are usually developed for a specific operating system and device. This is because each device may have different specifications like GPS, dual SIMs or cameras, memory, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, wireless fidelity or NFC, near-field communication. Apps that are developed keeping the device specifications in mind are known as native apps. Most native apps come pre-installed on the new phone and can also be downloaded from the Play Store or App Store and further installed on the device. Some native apps can run on the device without the use of the internet, but others may need the internet facility for full functionality. These apps have certain limitations. They are designed for a particular platform and are expensive to develop and maintain. Hybrid apps Hybrid apps have the features of both web apps and native apps. These apps can be downloaded from the Play Store or App Store and installed on the device. These apps require the device to be connected to the internet. Hybrid apps can be stored partly on the local device and partly on the remote server. 
Some hybrid apps can be operated offline also by using cached pages. However, they have limited functionality offline. For example, the most popular gaming app, Candy Crush, is a hybrid app that can be played on a mobile phone as well as on the web. Okay, students, let us talk about uses of common apps. Apps have become so prevalent today that a suitable one can be found for almost any job. Whether it is for learning, entertainment, social interactions or even banking and e-commerce, there is an app for every purpose. Educational Apps With the rapid increase of mobile technology, learning with apps has become fun. There is a rapid spread of education to the remotest corners of the world. Today, students in far-flung villages can easily access high-quality educational resources. There are apps for all levels of learning. Apps not only help the students to learn new concepts, but also show you what is being taught in the classrooms. Students of all age groups can access a treasure chest of information on any topic. Educational apps are equally useful for both students and teachers. The teachers are able to distribute study material quickly, conduct tests and grade the students efficiently by using apps like Google Classroom. Parents do make use of educational apps to interact more closely with the teachers and thus monitor the progress of their children. In keeping with this trend, many online study resources like Khan Academy, Kipps Interactive Books as well as online study platforms like EDX and Coursera are now available via apps. Social networking Social media plays a significant role in communication. The social media apps let you post images, videos and other updates to your profile which can be shared with anyone. You can connect with anyone across the globe easily via such apps. There are several types of social networking apps available today. Some of the most popular ones are as follows. WhatsApp With over 2 billion active users, WhatsApp is one of the most popular instant messaging app worldwide. Although initially started as a text messaging app, WhatsApp has rapidly grown and now offers high-quality voice as well as video calling. It has a simple interface and many useful features that make it a very popular app. Facebook Facebook, with nearly 2.7 billion active users, continues to lead the social networking sites. It allows all the registered users to create their profile, post comments, exchange information, share links, photographs, chat, play games, etc. While initially it was PC-based, Facebook is now available as a pre-installed app on most of the mobile phones and tablets. Twitter Twitter is a social networking app where people communicate in short messages called tweets. Tweeting is sending short messages to anyone who follows you on Twitter with the expectation that your messages are useful and interesting to someone in your audience. Messages sent with this app were initially restricted to 140 characters. However, with the advent of smartphones, the users began to find this as an unnecessary hindrance. Therefore, Twitter has now doubled this limit, that is, the users now get 20 characters per tweet. Other Social Networking Apps Instagram is another app that is used for social networking. This app specializes in sharing of photographs by the users. LinkedIn is a networking app that specializes in sharing of business and professional information. Reddit is a social news aggregation app. Registered users can upload news stories or links and the other users can read these stories by voting them up or down. The stories with the most upvotes are moved to the top of the category. Entertainment apps if you have a smartphone, you can find a lot of entertainment apps on it. While many of these apps are free to use, some charge a fee for their premium services. If you wish to watch a movie, catch up on your favorite TV serial or watch some sports, you can install and use Hotstar. 
Are you a music lover? Then Gaana, Hangama, Music and several other apps bring your favorite tunes right on your phones. Other apps are also available that allow a user to record and edit one's own music. Do you fancy watching the latest blockbuster at your favorite multiplex? The Book My Show app allows you to check timings, read reviews and obtain tickets for plays, concerts, sports and many other events. If you are a game lover, you can enjoy many gaming apps. These apps have a huge fan base from all age groups. There are various categories in these apps like sports, strategy games, action games, racing games, fighting games, etc. Banking and finance apps. Almost all banks have their own apps today. These apps allow quick and easy access to most of their services and products. One can check the balance in his account, open fixed deposits (FDs), pay utility bills, transfer money to another account, order a checkbook or demand draft, and many other activities through these apps. With the Indian government encouraging the use of cashless transactions, digital wallet apps like Paytm, Pockets from ICICI Bank, Buddy from SBI. and many more similar apps allow users to make quick and easy monetary transactions students let's know more bheem bharat interface for money is an android application that enables fast secure and reliable cashless payments through your mobile phone the app is directly linked to the user's bank account money control For the latest information on the global and Indian stock markets, Money Control app proves to be beneficial. It covers the BSE, Bombay Stock Exchange, NSE, National Stock Exchange and also the mutual funds, commodity and currency markets. Using their portfolio tracker, one can keep in touch with the swings of the market and take appropriate and timely decisions. E-commerce Buying or selling of goods or services using electronic means is known as e-commerce. The rapid increase in the use of mobile technology and the desire of people to get things done quickly has prompted e-commerce companies to offer mobile apps to supplement their business. This segment has become so important that some e-commerce companies have started giving preference to app-based solutions and are discounting their e-commerce websites. Some of the most popular e-commerce apps that provide facility to shop online are Flipkart, Amazon, Snapdeal and Shopclues. Students let's know more. Flipkart is a popular e-commerce company headquartered in Bengaluru. It was started in 2007 by Sachin Bansal and Bini Bansal. There are over 100 million registered users of Flipkarts in India. Students now let us know how to download and install an app. The following steps will help you download and install an app on your mobile phone or tablet. Tap on the Play Store icon on the screen of your device. Type the name of the app in the search bar that you wish to download. If you do not know the specific name, type a general description of the job that the app does. For example, educational apps. It will display the relevant list of apps. Now, select the most suitable one by tapping on the name of the app. Additional information about this app will be displayed including whether any fees needs to be paid. Check out the reviews and comments of previous users. If it meets your requirements tap the install button to install the app on your device The app will request you for permission to access specific information from your phone Confirm your consent and the app will be downloaded and installed on your phone The app is now ready to use Students let us find out how to develop your own app Looking at the different apps available at Play Store is an amazing experience but it may give you the impression that it is very difficult to make your own app but it is not so 
there are several sites that allow you to make your own app in a very short span of time. Let us use the MIT App Inventor to develop an app. It is an open source web application originally provided by Google and now maintained by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT. It is an easy and innovative platform to introduce programming and app creation to beginners. To develop an app using App Inventor, follow these steps. Open a browser and type the following URL in the address bar www.appinventor.mit.edu Click on the Create Apps button in the top left corner. Sign in with your Google account. After successfully signing in, accept the Terms of Service Policy. The welcome screen appears. Click on Continue. You will get a new window, giving you options to go through the tutorials, etc. or start a new project. Starting a project. You can choose start a blank project in the previous window or click on the start new project button to start with a new project. Assign a new name in the project name field and click on OK. Designing an app. When you start a project, you get the designer window by default. The designer window is used to design an interface of an application. Notice the designer button at the top right corner appears dull green. This indicates that the window is active. The designer window has four panes as listed below. Palette. This pane contains the components necessary for a graphical user interface design. It contains options such as user interface, layout, media, drawing and animation and so on. Viewer. This pane displays the appearance of the application. Components. This pane lists the components placed on the app screen. It shows a hierarchical view of the components. Properties. This pane shows various properties of the selected component. These properties are used to change the settings of the selected component. Let us design an interface for bouncing a ball. For this, you need a ball and a canvas. Click on the Drawing and Animation tab in the left pane and drag and drop the canvas on screen 1. Set canvas height and width properties as Fill Parent in the Properties pane. Now select Ball from the same pane. Drag and drop it on the center of the canvas. Set some of the properties of the ball. For example, set Paint Color, Orange, Speed, colon, 7 and Radius, colon, 30. Click on the Media tab and drag and drop the Text to Speech Control on Screen 1. The Text to Speech Control reads the given text aloud. It is an invisible component and cannot be seen on the screen like the ball. Coding an App Coding an MIT App Inventor is very similar to Scratch. To code your components, click on the Blocks button located in the top right corner. You will switch into the coding window. Here you can add your code. For example, to change the background color of your canvas and hear the given text, bouncing ball, on initialization of screen 1, add the following blocks. Click on screen 1 in the left pane and add the initialize event by dragging it on the viewer area. The code inside this block will be executed when you start your app. Now click on text to speech 1 control in the left pane and add the speak message block. This reads the given message. To add a message, click on text in the built-in category and add a text string block. Add the text bouncing ball in the string. Now click on canvas 1 in the left pane and select the background color block to change the background color. To set a color, click on colors and add a color block. Now to bounce the ball, click on ball 1 in left pane and add the following blocks. Students, let me share a tip with you. To add the get speed block, bring the pointer to the speed parameter and select the get speed block. In the same way, add the get heading and get edge blocks by clicking on the corresponding parameters. Running the app. When the design and code of your app is final, you need to test the app. You can set up live testing while you build apps using any of the following options. 
with an android device and wi-fi connection with a chromebook using the emulator with an android device and usb cable testing the app using an emulator let us learn how to test an app using the emulator to download the emulator in the address bar type the following url click on the download the installer link you will get the setup file after downloading the file install the application in your computer system once the installation is complete click on connect and go to emulator app inverter will start connecting to the emulator and you will get a virtual mobile on your computer the companion app will start to test your app when screen 1 is initialized you will hear the audio of bouncing ball the color of the canvas becomes sky blue and the ball bounces students let's know more several integrated development environment ides are available that greatly simplify the process of an android app development the android studio from google is one such example while eclipse is another students let's know more Many IDEs come with their emulators to preview the working of your app but the final testing of the app should be done on different mobile devices In the same way you can also create apps using other sites like Appy Pie which is another web based app maker Appy Pie provides ready made templates to add pages forms social media links login pages for a wide range of applications for designing your app quickly Visit the lab and follow the instructions given in the lab session to create an app using Appy Pie. Okay students let us take a recap of this chapter. The word app is an abbreviation for application. The software designed to do a specific job is known as an application. Apps are broadly classified into 3 categories: desktop apps, web apps and mobile apps. Mobile apps are usually developed for a specific operating system and device. Hybrid apps combine the features of web apps and native apps. Buying or selling of goods or services using the electronic means is known as e-commerce. Coding in MIT App Inventor is very similar to Scratch.